Hey guys, how's it going? I'm the only channel that will cover these kind of spec plays, no one else. So, NBEV had a news of a merger. Awesome! Now it has momentum to the upside. The gamble here is if you want to buy into this company, is if you can buy pre-market, you know, you're gambling that people will keep pushing into the stock, bringing the price of the stock a lot higher. So, you know, what could happen is tomorrow the stock could start off green and then it could dip, you know, down to 20%. Don't know what's going to really happen, but my gut feeling tells me that it's probably going to get pumped up to around $4, maybe even $5 in the by the end of the week. Could be wrong. Pure speculation on my part. So, we'll see what happens. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you don't, you can always hit that dislike button, like that red little icon right there, dislike. So if you don't enjoy this video, please give me a dislike. Anyway, so New Age Beverages announced merger stock more than doubles in after hours. You know, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know if it's good or bad news because you know I didn't do any research at all uh, definitely do your research on the company you know you have time until tomorrow I'm just I don't really care because the I'm probably not gonna buy it regardless so you guys can buy it all you want I'm not gonna buy it. if let's say the scenario that the stock dips back to two dollars after popping, then I may make a position, but I'm not making a position right in the morning. I don't like to buy stocks on the run because you don't really make too much money on the run. You have to be in the run, not uh, buy it on the run. I don't want. I don't like buying it on the run. If it dips back, I may I may rethink about making a position, but I think that it's gonna go higher. I could totally be wrong. We'll see. Uh, you know, three. Uh, you know, if it, I think it'll go around five dollars, but again, pure speculation on my part. Right now, the company has a market cap of one hundred and sixty-one million dollars. I was actually eyeing the company a little bit. I was looking at the company at a dollar seventy. Oh, I don't know if it was a dollar seventy, but it, I was looking at it. I think it was like a dollar fifty when I I was looking at it. I was thinking of making a position. But I didn't, and if I did, I would have doubled my money. Oh well, whatever, because I was looking at it a month ago. I was like, hmm, maybe I should buy some new Bev. I was like, nah, I could go down lower. So I, I kind of ignored it and, you know, lost out. I was thinking that I can go down to a dollar, but it didn't. It ran. Now it's at $3. If I ever had shares, I'd be really happy right now, but I don't. And it kind of sucks. Oh well, that's life. Anyways, um, merger stock, yeah, that's good thing. Okay, and then we're going to be talking about Organigram's earnings. Uh, so Organigram is having earnings. Uh, this guy was saying, oh, they're going to have fantastic earnings tomorrow, and the stock's going to run pre-market, and then this guy who's a, obviously a bear, super anonymous, again, bear, saying that it will go down tomorrow, and it'll, and it'll crash all the Canadian stocks. That could be a possibility, but I don't think so. I think if Organigram's earnings are bad, it's going to bring the stock price up. Why? Because that means that somebody is stealing Organigram's market share because obviously if you look at the market right now, the market is doing better than it was three months ago. So it, it keeps getting better and better. So I would be, you know, Organigram's earnings, I, I think it would, would do decently. Could be wrong, speculation on my part. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, what I think tomorrow is gonna happen right in the morning. I think it's gonna be bad. And I think it's gonna be positive for other stocks because obviously somebody is stealing Organigram's market share. Organigram does not have uh, value products and they are losing market share in their pre-rolls and their dry bud. 
and the vape pens. I never even tried the vape pens and the edible. They made chocolate, and that was a horrible decision to go with because chocolate doesn't sell well. Gummies sell well. Chocolates do not sell well. So I think Organigram is going to have a really bad earnings report, but we will see. We will see if it's good or bad. And and again, no, I don't want more thumbs up, please. Anyway, so J Mac just came out and said he bought a Fisker and he is heavily invested in Fisker. I don't know if his, the stock's gonna run. It could run. It could absolutely run because in the past when he made interview videos, the stock ran, and this is kind of a a clickbait. But I would consider this as big news. For for uh for uh, Whisker because he can influence the market. He's influenced Solo. He's influenced Nikola, and he's influenced um what's that other company called um Solo. So it, it could influence uh SPAQ. I have no idea. If it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's up to you if you want to gamble. The my thoughts on Whisker is, um, you know, the 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 CEO is over promising. He's over promising. He's making a sales pitch that you know, oh, I uh, you know, I'm gonna make the best car and the cheapest car. If they if you do that, you're not gonna be profitable. They're gonna lose money, and on top of that, they're not actually making their own production. So they are basically getting someone else to do it, and then those guys make the car, and then they sell it to Fisker, and then Fisker resells it for a loss because there's no way he can be able to sell a nice car like that for thirty seven thousand dollars. No way. I say it's at least fifty thousand dollars if he wants to make a profit. Well, he sell for fifty thousand dollars. I think he could probably get away with selling it for fifty thousand dollars. I think he just over promises. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, uh, Neo, I'm totally wrong, Neo. I should have bought some car options right in the morning or some stock or something because. It ran, it ran good, and it's still running after hours, and it, this thing could go back to $15. Uh, it all depends on Tesla's earnings report. If Tesla does poorly, I think NEO will crash. If Tesla does positively, I think all EV stocks are going up. All EV stocks are going up. Space, uh, I, feel, I still think space is going to move up. I think it's going to be, gr it's not going to be a rapid process. I think it's going to be a, gr a slow grind up. I could be wrong and it could fall back. We'll see what happens, but I think it's going to be a slow grind to the upside. But maybe it'll just be volatile. Maybe I'll just trade between $20 to $23 or $24 for like a month then or for like this entire week and then next week it'll skyrocket I don't know I think there's some news something this I think there's gonna be some news on July 28th for Virgin Galactic so we'll see where that goes uh, solo very very bullish on solo stock I'm not selling any of my shares I don't care if it crashes 250 I'm not selling it I think I think Solo is going to run soon, but I could be wrong. This is pure speculation on my part. We'll see what happens. Um, the market is green. Green, green, green. Tomorrow is going to be another green day, I think. Maybe. If it's a red day, it's a buying opportunity. If it's a green day, then maybe take some profit. Maybe. I don't know. It's up to you. Anyways, that's it for my video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, wow. Almost 10 minutes. Snap, got 30 more seconds, so yeah. Uh, Tesla, let's see what Tesla is doing. Tesla after hours is up $20. We'll see if, uh, I think it's, I think, I think Tesla is going to hit $2,000 after earnings, but there also can be the scenario where Tesla comes out 
and they announce a uh, profit, and the stock drops. Even if they go on the SP 500, that is also a possibility. I don't know at the end of the day what's going to happen, but you know, I want the stock price to go up. I want Elon Musk to be the richest man in the world. I want to see this thing uh, uh, compete with Amazon $3,000 to $3,000. Will that happen? Only time will tell. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.